Hey, what up everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Tyler James coming at you with another um, tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about that thumping bass line, the one that keeps the party moving all night, the one you see in the videos, music videos, people on stage putting their hands up, having a great time. A lot of it starts with that bass. And to get that driving bass, we're going to need to do something called side chain compression. All right, so let's fire up Reason. And I'm going to walk you to step by step. The first thing you're going to need is a bass sound. I have a bass sound loaded up in this Antidote Synapsis um, synthesizer, all right? It's a refill. All right, now I'm trying it free for 30 days, but I can tell you what. It's, it's a really nice synthesizer, and it's always good to have some more synths in your rack. Um, Thor is a monster. I still use Subtractor. I still use Maelstrom, but... You know, I mean, it's nice to have more tools in your tool belt, I guess. So, let's take a look. Two bar sound with the fat bass SC um, noise. It's, it's a preset. It comes loaded up in it. Or it comes with, with the download. So this is it, just by itself. Alright, nothing special. But we can give that that pulsating sound by doing a technique called side chain compression. So I have a compressor hooked up to my antidote. Okay. Now all you have to do is right click your synthesizer, Studio Effects Compressor. All right. Now I have one connected already, but we'll flip it around. You can see it'll even wire it for you. Now, we go to Redrum channel 1, and we're going to flip it around. The Redrum, one of my favorite parts about it is every single individual channel has an audio out, which is really cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down from channel 1 and drag this into our side chain. All right. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to act as the trigger. Anytime that one hits, the other noise is going to go down. Because what it's doing is it's like Moses parting the Red Sea. And that kick, every time that kick hits, it's going to part the Red Sea, all right? So take a listen. We're going to paint it in on the 1, the 5, the 9, and the 3, all right? 4 on the floor. The compressor's making it louder, if nothing else, but we want it to have that woo, 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 woo noise. So we need to modify the threshold, ratio, attack, and release. Check it out. And that's it. That's that pulsating bass, all right? It's pretty sweet. Now let's listen to it in the context with a drum loop playing as well, all right? That's the party, son. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, <clears throat> we can be more experimental with this, all right? Because our re-drum is still wired out, you can take and layer up some other kicks on top of that to add some emphasis to those hit emphasis to those hits like this. All right, what I like to do too as well is I like to play with this in other genres. I'm going to go down and select it. <clears throat> I'm going to put them on every even beat, all right? The one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen on the eighth notes. And I'm gonna load up a hip hop drum loop I have. Turn this to 85 beats per, beats per minute and take a listen to this. That's a 
whole new genre bending, bass smashing in your face, dope hip hop the likes have never been heard of, except for maybe in Chicago where they do crazy stuff with the house like that. All right, side chain compression. That's all it is. Remember, with the noise you want modifying or killing the sound, it's coming into side chain in. Your synthesis or your carrier is going to be routed to your compressor. And that's all there is to it. You can use this for vocals. Look, you can do this for whatever. Make some videos, video responses. Upload them. I want to see what you got. I want to hear it. All right? And as always, you know, keep it real. Do your thing. All right, peace.